What are the three main reasons to switch from a paper target system to electronic? First, this is all about the shooter, the student, the learner. When someone takes a shot on a paper target and they shoot 60 shots and go look at their target, they don't learn anything other than this is what I got. With this target, every shot reports right to their shooting position and they know exactly what happened and they can start to learn why and make those corrections. Second, instructors spend a lot of time scoring the targets. And when there's 10 or 12 kids shooting and each one has to be scanned and scored, that can end up being dozens of hours in any given month. This system stores it all in one place, gives you a data table, and you can present that as the students progress and help them learn. And obviously that leads into the third benefit. When the school purchases the modern technology, it takes a lot of the man hours out of it and allows the instructors to be better at not only a shooting coach, but as an instructor in the rest of the courses that they teach, more time dedicated to the kids in the classroom as well. All right, so we just got done with a string of 10 shots. Um, the electronic target tells you um, where each one goes, and the little arrows over here will tell you where that hit was on the target. The great thing about these is that if you make a bowl like this, and then you shoot over here, you get this immediate feedback where you can come back and correct um, back to center. What's my heartbeat doing? What's my body doing? What's my eyeball doing? And you learn so much faster the muscle memory that you, you get with this. If we were to shoot a bunch of different strings, it would total up the tens and leave it down here and we'd get our 275 or 280. This would probably end up more like a 230 because I'm so good but I can just select the new series on here. Um, in the computer software, which we're not using, the instructor can set up all the targets in the same batch. We can hit OK, and it will move the target, start us off, and it will shoot all three strings, give us a total that we can have to use. Instructor does not have to go back and score anything. You can print it, you can save it into a file, you can export it, you can email it. It's amazing. Let's talk about the technology involved with an electronic scoring target. Obviously, the bullet goes through the target. It has to know what happened. In these targets, as the bullet passes through this black hole, cameras, lasers, and mirrors can triangulate or quadrangulate just exactly where that pellet went to within the smallest, littlest fraction of an inch. Let's take a look at how that happens. Um, the target face can be easily removed and hung on here so you can service the target. This is the front plate. This is a 30 millimeter ring, which is the typical black bullseye on most of the targets that we shoot. This is very easy to replace when it gets torn up. It just slides on the four pegs right here. And that will reveal the witness plate in the back of it. Um, you can see most of the bullets going through right here. This one obviously got shot off on the side, but there's a camera in the bottom and the left side of the target that the laser beams go over here and reflect back. And anytime something passes through that tractor beam, think of like a James Bond movie, lasers and cool stuff, it tells you exactly where things went. And it transmits it through the wires back to the main system. So it's very efficient and amazing. Probably the best thing about this is no students ever have to go down range during a training session to change targets or to mess with anything. Um, it collects all of the pellets and a little pellet catcher. So all the mess that you see all over the range is put in one place and you can just dump this in a garbage can. It's a wonderful, efficient system full of all the modern niceties and technology just like the rest of our world today. So glowing, moving, electronic, digital things. You wouldn't expect your robotics team to play with an erector set. You wouldn't expect the football team to not have a scoreboard and just have some people flipping tags. The phone communication doesn't use a series of Dixie cup and strings. Why should your target system be like that? Analog from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. 
You need to demand that you have the latest, greatest technology so that your kids can learn in the best possible way and have access to everything that's available to them to become the best at what they want to become. You will find an amazing resource at mrtargetonline.com for our electronic targets to generate a system scaled to your school. Reach out to us and we will help you get electronic target technology in front of your students.